Hey folks, Steve Bird here just giving you an update on what's next for the DIY solar homestead. Uh, as you can see here, this is the one solar array that we've been living on. It's uh, 18 320 watt split cell panels, and that's on a PLP Power Peak ground mount. We've got, we currently have sitting here on the property on the trailer, we've got another set of panels and another ground mount. We're going to be adding 20 more panels just downhill of this one far enough away that there'll be no chance of casting a shadow. I was going to go on out into that pasture and just line up with the existing array, but I've decided I don't want to eat any more of that pasture up and instead of having to move the fence, we're just going to come downhill. The only drawback to that is I can't dig as deep downhill before I hit rock as I can uphill, but talking to Scott Hunt, Engineer 775, he's who I got everything from, we talked about how we can do the, the concrete ballast in the ground over a wider area with a, with a less embedment depth and still have the wind ballast that we need. So we're going to go that route. We're going to go just downhill here and uh, perfectly lined up uh, with this array. So as that build begins from digging the hole to setting the posts in concrete to assembling the rest of the array to trenching and uh, bur burying our line to head to the solar shed. I'll be doing a short video on each phase of that so that you can kind of see how the build process works from beginning to end. Most of my other videos have been a recap after the construction's ended because I'm usually too busy and too focused on what I've got going on to stop and film. But this time I'm going to try to take a, diff take a different approach and we're going to do a bunch of short videos step by step on how to build a ground mount like this with a, with a full array, how to wire it, how to get it hooked up to the solar arc and get that electricity pumping into the house. So stay tuned. Hopefully that'll be up soon, maybe a week or so. But uh, look forward to sharing that with you and hope you enjoy. Thanks. Thanks. 